the storyboard of our news flow. UK to ban diesel cars. France is getting aggressive. Volvo's going electric. What does it mean for the CEO, one of the biggest oil companies in the world, when you see that news flow? Do you want to buy uh, an electric company? Do you want to diversify? How, give me your quick take in terms of the news flow over the past 48 hours. Uh, well, the next buy I do is my next car, which will be an electric vehicle, but that's something else, of course. I think the whole move to, uh, to electrify the economy, electrify mobility in places like uh, Northwest Europe, in the US, even in China, is a good thing. I mean, we need to be uh, at, uh, uh, at, a, at a much higher degree of electric vehicle penetration and or hydrogen vehicles or gas vehicles if you want to stay within the two degrees C outcome. But it won't be enough. Even if you went 100% electrical, even if everybody in the Western world would ban electric uh, or other things than electric vehicles, we would still see a very significant growth in, uh, in liquid mobility fuels. I think in the end, if policies really work well, if innovation really works well, I can see liquids peaking in demand in the early 30s. And maybe oil will peak a little bit earlier if there's a lot of biofuels coming into the mix as well. But, you know, that means basically that we have to adjust for that. First of all, there is a huge opportunity in new mobility forms. Uh, you see our retail footprint changing, our ambitions there changing. You see us invest more in gas, which we think is, is a much more longer-lived hydrocarbon. And you see us also go into renewables. You see us going into petrochemicals more. And we have to, in that sense, continue to reinvent the company.